Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to make mockups in Figma using plugins. So we already have a video on this, uh, but it's kind of an outdated video and a lot of those plugins are not working anymore. So I've been getting a lot of comments to make an updated one. So here I am sharing an updated list of the best uh, mockup plugins in Figma. And also I'll be showing you each of those step by step how to use it so that you can make clean, fast mockups without any hassle because I've already tried it and I'm going to take you through each of the steps here. So without any further ado, let's Let's get started. So here I have a sample file and with each of the plugins listed here. So I'll be taking you through each of them. So zooming onto the first one, which is a very straightforward one, it's called mockup plugin. So here I have a sample screen, just select it and go to plugins and widgets from here and search for mockup plugin and you should get this one right here which says mockup plugin so just click on that and you will end up on the screen which is just an intro just close this and here you have a lot of free mockups right so this is the home screen they have different tools here but we'll be focusing on this one the latest free mockups just click on view more and you'll find a lot of amazing mockups right so these are like really good collection and all of these are free right they have a paid collection as well but i feel this free collection itself is really good so i'll just go for this one this one leads this one looks simple and neat and once you click that they have a plus button here which basically is asking you to add a frame there so just click on that and now it says click on any frame or group on figma so now just click on this particular frame right here and it'll automatically detect the frame that you've selected and now it's it's basically been converted into an image now you can crop it if you want to resize it you can do that as well from here uh, this one looks good for me so I'll just click on crop and there you go it's applied onto that particular mockup that was selected and you also have the option to change the device color so you can see here right so the device color is also changing and uh, if it has more colors that will probably show up here as well so once you're good with it just click on paste and that will drop the image onto your Figma canvas and now you can just go ahead and place it where you want right so so just place it where you want and that's it you have your mock-up ready so that was a mock-up plugin they have a lot of other features and the next plugin we have is called as angle mock-ups and this one comes in handy when you already have a mock-up design uh, that you probably got from a free resource online or you can also get a lot of these on the community as well so just go to figma community and search for mock-ups or mobile mock-ups you'll find a ton of these free resources there so I'll be showing you that later but right now I already have some samples here so what you got to do is first thing before you select this plugin is select the shape that you want to apply right so here I have this resource and you just need to find something called a screen and the layer that you want to apply this image on right so here I've already got it selected now just go to plugins and widgets and search for angle mockup and here we have it so I just click on it and now we automatically see all the different frames that you have on your system. So these are the different frames I have uh, on this particular canvas. You can just select the one that you want to apply. So I'm just going to click on this. And here you have different orientations. Nothing to worry. It's the preview is proper, right? So just click on apply. And there you go. It just gets applied. And now you can just take this and place it where you want, right? So I can just go here and copy this and place it inside this. So that's how you can do it, right? So that is angle mockups when you already have a particular mockup that is there and you want to apply it right that that is angle mockups and also one more thing to note here is you have a particular image which is just an image right you can always use the pen tool and try to trace out this particular uh, frame right so once you trace this out you have a particular vector shape that you can basically go ahead and apply the image on so it comes handy in that way as well so that is another way to use angle mockups moving on to the next one this is also a really good one which is 3d iphone and device mockups so let's go ahead and search for this one right so okay i already have it here i'm not going to type it so once i click on this you have this plugin loaded up so the best part about this plugin is it gives you a video as well right so they have a lot of these free amazing templates so you can just hover on it and it'll show you the animation that it involves so this is a very neat one i like it so i'll just click on this one so the animation basically loads up and you can see a preview of the animation as well right so right now this is the animation that is happening you can probably if you want you can also increase the length of this and the duration will also increase along with that right so once you have uh, the animation set all you got to do is just click on a frame that you want to apply on so this is the frame that I want to apply and click on the button which says import frame and the frame is imported there you go and if you want you can change the colors as well so you have different color combinations that you can apply so this one looks good and also you can change the device colors as well right so even that option is available so you can just preview it 
can see how it looks. You can see the glare on the image as well. So that's really good. So once you're done with it, uh, you can just go ahead and download it as a video. So you have an option to download this as a video. In case you don't want a video, you just want a particular frame from this. You can do that as well. So this particular frame is something that you want. Just click on this image button and you can download it as an image as well. So just it goes to your uh, downloads or you can send it to Figma. It comes on to Figma right here. So there you go, the frame that you wanted. So that's another way to use uh, this plugin. It's good for videos and it's also good for uh, creating still uh, mockups as well with uh, device colors that are available and stuff like that. So moving on to the next one, this is called as Up Mockup and this is also a really good plugin. So just search for this in plugins and widgets. So I already have it here. So this is the plugin and it's quite similar to the first plugin that we saw. It has got all these different features where you can uh, squeeze, wrap uh, different images. Uh, but here we are for the mockups. So here we have some iPhones. There you go. There are a lot of these which are available for free. So let's say I want something where the user is holding it. So something like this. So just click on that. And now it's basically giving you the frame size where you have to place the mockup on. So just click on add this frame to Figma. And now the frame gets added. All you got to do is just take in your design from here, paste it into this particular frame. Use the scale tool, which is you just need to press on K. And here you have the scale tool and just resize it until it fits this, right? So once it does, just click on this and say create preview. And you should have that in a couple of seconds. Let's wait for it. And there you go. You have your particular mockup placed on this particular preset. You can get it in different uh, sizes. So thousand by thousand looks good to me. So paste into Figma. There you go. We have the image placed and this is like super high quality, right? So you can see how uh, detailed this image is and you have different uh, presets to try. So definitely give this a try. It's a good plugin. So I'll just close this, uh, move on to something which is uh, kind of more practical, right? So all these actually take a lot of time, but there are scenarios where you have a lot of screens and you want to quickly apply a mockup device onto that particular screens, right? So let's say you have like uh, 20 screens and doing this method is not quite practical and it's not um, really a uh, good use of time as well, right? So that is when a little bit mockup plugin comes handy. So let me just open this plugin, which is a little bit mockup and it directly has this option of light and dark frames, right? So before using this plugin, all you got to do is select the frames. Okay, let me just duplicate these multiple times, right? So that I'll show you how this works. So right now I have six frames. I'll select all the six frames and go into plugins and widgets, search for a little bit mockup. And right now I just want to apply light frames for this. So I just click on light frames and there you go. Kind of a mobile frame, which is not like a real device, but it actually looks like a good device and you can just apply a dark device or a light device. So the light device basically has a white background to it and the dark one is completely black in color. And you can see how this gives a very professional look and try basically when you're trying to give demos to a client or someone like that, you can just select all the frames that you have and apply this and it gives a real feel of a mobile uh, as if you're uh, displaying it on a mobile. So this comes really handy when you have a lot of frames. So definitely note this up, which is a little bit mock up. With that, I think we come to the end of this video where I've shown you all the different great plugins in Figma, which you can use. And also there are other plugins which are available online, which are completely free. So if you want that to check that out as well. And let me know in the comments below which plugin you like or something that I've missed in this video. I'll definitely try to make a video on that in the next upcoming one. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.